Hello guys, it's the man here. I've got a bit of news for you today. Welcome to the channel. So guys, welcome to Man Discovers Tech. Today we have a very special episode. It's really about some news that's like really, really anticipated and people have been waiting for this for a very, very, very long time in the hi-fi community, especially. We have just found out today that Spotify Hi-Fi is finally going to be launching. So that is massive, guys. Spotify is the world's biggest streaming platform for music. And now it's going to be offering CD quality uh, streaming services to everybody. Now, one thing that about me, I've always had uh, Spotify. I've, I've had Tidal as well. I've got it right now, but I'm kind of on and off because of the price. It's just so much money. So um, the fact that Spotify Hi-Fi is now being launched, um, you know, we have Amazon HD as well. And now it looks like there's more of a competitive marketplace for uh, lossless quality streaming services. So I'm going to read you some of the news right now. So according to one article, almost four years after Spotify Hi-Fi was teased, a CD quality Hi-Fi hi tier is finally coming to the world's most popular streaming service. So Spotify will join the likes of Tidal, Cobuzz, Deezer and Amazon in offering lossless streaming beginning later this year. So we're in 2021 now, beginning later this year in 2021. Spotify is promising to share more details on, on Spotify Hi-Fi soon, such as the all-important price, device compatibility, territories and launch dates. CD quality streams will be able uh, to play with Spotify Connect allowing Spotify Hi-Fi to be able to use Hi-Fi quality streams between their phone and uh, computer, desktop app, web player, and Spotify Connect enabled speakers, blah, 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 blah. So basically, if you've got gear that accepts Spotify, it should be able to do Hi-Fi streaming soon. According to Spotify, a Spotify spokesman, we're working with some of the world's best speaker manufacturers to make Spotify Hi-Fi accessible to as many fans as possible through Spotify Connect. They also said high quality music streaming has consistently been one of the users most requested new features. Well, no shit. Of course, there's so many people out there with the absence of CDs, guys, what do we have to stream music if everything's going to stream this, this same problem exists with movies as well because people don't really buy blu-rays anymore they prefer to use like something like netflix or amazon so we're seeing a reduction in quality as standard and it's becoming harder and harder and harder to get very good quality source so of course you you've, you've had a lot of demand for it and i can't i cannot believe it's taken them till 2021 to even announce it especially when Tidal has existed for years now, at least four years, Tidal? No, 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 it's more than that. Tidal, the first time I heard of Tidal, it was in 2013. 2013 is the first time I believe I used Tidal. It was 2013, I'm sure. So, um, yeah, uh, I mean, even Amazon has HD lossless music. Even Amazon has that. So for Spotify to be this late to the game is shocking. But finally, they're here because I believe Spotify has probably the most diverse uh, track list. Like generally when I look for something on Spotify, it's there. But when I look on Tidal, sometimes it's not there. Uh, and sometimes it takes, things take a little bit longer to load on Tidal. I don't know if any of you guys experience the same thing with Tidal. If you do, then let me know in the comments. Yeah, so basically they're defining it as anything above CD quality. So it might even be better than CD quality because you know with Basically, music producers, right, they don't mix in 16-bit audio, which is what you get. 44,100 hertz is the sampling rate. Um, now, with uh, music producers, they, they uh, mix in 24-bit audio, and I believe it's 96,000 uh, hertz, or 192,000. It depends on, on who it is. And Tidal, at the moment, they offer that service with Tidal Masters. If you go to the Tidal Hi-Fi uh, subscription, you can also get Tidal master quality as well. Now, I think a lot of people won't actually see a massive difference with that. And this brings me on to the next section of this video, which I'm gonna end quite soon. But why is this such an important thing, guys? Because a lot of you are thinking, ah, well, there's not much difference between lossless and, uh, and uh, MP3 or OGG compressed. And my view is, no way, you're wrong. That's wrong, okay? you. What the thing is, guys, is you have been fooled by, I've seen a lot of articles in the last 10 years where people do ABX test, testing and stuff like that. People don't know what they're listening for, trust me. Why would you think that a music producer would produce in 24-bit audio 
with a much higher sampling rate than what's available on CD. Why do you think they would record and produce music in that format when there's no difference to be heard? There is a difference to be heard. And in my future videos, you're gonna see, right? If you're new to this channel, subscribe right now and you're gonna see, I'm gonna make a series where I am here to, as a musician, right? I know what to listen for, okay? Especially when it comes to my instrument, which is the, my primary instrument is the violin. You might see over there in the corner next to the hi-fi rack. I know what to listen for, okay? And when I compare music, I can very easily pick out uh, the lossless versus the Spotify 320 kilobits per second. And I've tried it with Spotify normalized on and normalized off, and I can still test it. I'm gonna come out with some videos to show you very step by step, listen to this, listen to that, and you're gonna see that I'm right. Okay, I don't mean to be boastful in, in this video like I know, but it's taken me a while because I did ABX testing. I'm thinking, why is it on the ABX testing? I don't always get, I usually get about 60%, 70% on ABX testing if anyone's done that. And I figured out the reason why. I'm gonna let you know that in, a, in future videos. You'll see, I've cracked it now. So uh, yeah, it does make a difference, guys. It makes a huge difference. And it makes an even bigger difference if you like to listen with quality uh, audio gear. Like this is just one of my pair of headphones. It's the AKGK. 712 Pro headphones, which I'm going to be reviewing soon. And here is one of my latest headphones that I bought, which is just unbelievable. <laughs> right, this is a, a very special headphone, right, that um, probably a lot of you haven't heard of. And uh, I have only heard of it recently. And um, yeah, if you use like the modern DAX, like this, these are new don't know if anyone's seen these modern Chinese DACs that are coming out now at very low price and very, very, very high performance and headphone amps. If you use this equipment, you will tell a mile off and you'll be able to bet your house on it. It's that obvious. So, um, yeah, I'll come out with some videos in the future. If you're subscribed, remember to keep watching the videos, guys. But I thought that I would give you this news. Spotify H um, HD or Spotify Hi-Fi is coming, which is fantastic. I'm well hyped up about that. Um, Amazon Music HD is all here already. That costs $12.99. Tidal costs like 20 quid, which is too much. Um, $12.99 for Prime members and $14.99 for non-Prime members. And I, don't, I think most people are pretty much Prime members now anyway. Spotify needs to be aiming at that sort of level. 10 to 50, it was not 10 pound, probably just over 10 pound, about up to about 15 pound, I think. Tidal is too expensive, I think. It's too much. It's already a bit of a... It's already a bit of a, uh, what's the term? What's the term? Uh, I don't know the term. Sometimes I forget terms, phrases, but <laughs> what are they called? Idioms. Um, but basically it's already, um, Gemma, what's that term when, uh, they, um, what is that term? When people are, um, Oh man, my brain's gone dead. It's gone dead. <laughs> when you've been done dirty already and then they do you dirty again. What's that term? What's that phrase? I forgot the phrase. I've been, I've been locked down for too long. That's the problem. You f I can't talk to people anymore, so I'm forgetting the language. What's that term? <laughs> it's like when you've been done... Oh, to rub salt in the wound. Yeah, you already got a wound. That's it, guys. To rub salt in the wound. <laughs> How did I forget that? To rub salt in the wound. Right, to, and I've forgotten what the salt in the wound was, so we're going to have to end this video soon. It's not gone as planned. Oh. What is it again? Ah, to rub salt in the wound. I've got it now. To rub salt in the wound. With streaming, you never own the music. So with £20 a month, we are spending like what 240 quid a year on music that most of the time when i listen to music i, li I kind of listen to new music i'm very selective with music but i tend to listen to loads of stuff that i've already heard so why not just buy it you know so that that, that question goes through my head a lot so uh, especially today where people are on a monthly subscription for everything like everything is monthly subscription so it needs to be 10 to 15 pounds tidal is too expensive in my opinion and uh, yeah that's the end of that so more competition from a major supplier excellent news and yeah if you're not subscribed subscribe like the video and 
You better do it now. Join my tribe or I smash you.